हेलो वेलकम टू टेक पॉइंट फंडामेंटल्स यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज अ प्रोग्रामिंग टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स वीडियो सीरीज एंड हेयर वी विल सी थ्री मेन फंडामेंटल पॉइंट्स रिलेटेड टू एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग इन सी शार्प सो दिस थ्री क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन आर मोस्टली आस्ट इन लॉट ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो कैन यू हैव ट्राई ब्लॉक विदाउट कैच ब्लॉक इन सी शार्प कैन यू डिफाइन मल्टीपल फाइनली ब्लॉक फॉर अ सिंगल ट्राई ब्लॉक इन सी शार्प कैन यू डिफाइन मल्टीपल कैच ब्लॉक्स फॉर अ सिंगल ट्राई ब्लॉक इन सी शार्प यू विल सी ऑल दिस थ्री पॉइंट विद अ प्रैक्टिकल लाइव एग्जाम्पल सो प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड एंड Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that uh, you get notification whenever I upload a new video to my YouTube channel. Okay, so let's restart the video. So, for the first question, can you have try block without catch block in C sharp? Yes, you can have uh, try block without catch block, but in that case, you you must have to provide the finally block. if you see in this example i have not provided any catch block here but i have provided this finally block if you run, run the application it will work perfectly and if you remove this finally block from here and uh, try to build the application it will give the error expected catch or finally so you have to provide finally block for the second question can you define multiple finally blocks for a single try block no you cannot define multiple clash block because we know that this final block is excluded at the end and there could can be only one uh, finally block if you try to have multiple then compiler will generate a uh, compile time error right so you cannot have multiple catch blocks the last question can you define multiple catch blocks for a single try block in c sharp yes you can have multiple catch blocks for a single try block for saving the time i have already typed some catch statements here so let me paste it here yes here you, you see i have defined uh, 4 to 5 uh, catch blocks for this single try block but in this case you have to uh, keep the order same like you cannot put this system dot exception at first right if you trying to put it you will get a uh, compile time exception for other catch blocks because this system dot exception is the global base class for each and every exception in dot net framework so that's why you are getting this exception if you see a previous catch class already catch all exceptions of this or of super type exception right because all the exception catch here directly because the uh, exception is caught in this sequence uh, uh, which we have defined so you have to put the system dot exception catch block at last in the end so in this case if you see whenever any exception occur then uh, from this try block it will jump to that particular catch block where which type of exception has been occurred so normally uh, in case of uh, a lot of scenario we have to handle some particular type of exception for example if uh, we are handling some uh, method in that case if uh, any network type or internet uh, issue uh, type error yeah exception has been occurred in that case what we can do that we can catch that particular exception and uh, try to handle 
that particular uh, exception by trying uh, by retrying or reposting that particular request to the server or sometime we also uh, like a method we are sending some email to someone and uh, there is some exception due to network then we can keep try at least three times so that uh, if uh, resolved then we can send the email to that particular user otherwise we, ca uh, we can throw the exception to the user that yes there is issue of network so please uh, connect to the network so this type of scenario we can handle with this uh, multiple uh, cache blocks or what you can do in this system dot uh, exception cache block you have to find or get the type of exception and based on that uh, type you can handle the scenario in that case there is no need to provide this multiple cache blocks altogether so if you run the application it works perfectly and uh, let me create a exception here manually let me uh, remove this and I have provided null value to this name then what will happen if you s see this statement clearly I have uh, call this to upper method for this name and uh, then trim this method you know that this to upper and uh, trim method will throw an exception because this name variable is null so what will happen this from this uh, cache try block the if this exception occurred then it will jump to this null reference exception it will not go to this one it will directly jump to this statement and this statement should be print right print that right so let me run the program and if you see try block is executed and a null reference exception occurred this statement and uh, then the actual message object reference not set to an instance of an object and finally at last finally block is called this one what will happen if you are not providing this uh, try catch block then application will crash abnormally so that's the third point yes you can have multiple catch blocks and why try catch block is mandatory because uh, if you are not providing proper exception handling then uh, application will crash so that's what for today i hope you have enjoyed this video please uh, don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and uh, like and share this video thank you very much